everybody, I want to talk to you about scrolling effects viewport. This is something that has cropped up now and again in questions and even I had to stop and think about this when I first started using it. Like let's say I click on this header here and I go to advanced and I go to motion effect and I go for scrolling effect, you have vertical, horizontal, transparency, blur, rotate, all of these. Wonderful, wonderful. The trouble is though, with a lot of them, you have this viewport, which is bottom or top. And sometimes people look at this and go, well, what exactly does it mean by zero and a hundred? And if I start to adjust it, at what point is it gonna kick in or work for me? Like, how do I actually understand it? So I wanna quickly go over that and give you a few examples. And I hope this is really gonna help you with it. When you have your viewport, the 0% bottom means that whatever your effect you're adding, it kicks off right from the bottom of your screen. Okay, so if that, if whatever, wherever that item is on your screen, right, in terms of view, right, if it's at the bottom, it kicks in. It starts to do whatever you've asked it to do. And it will continue doing it until you get to the top 100%. So if you've set your viewport to be zero to 100, it will continually do that effect from bottom of the page to the top of the page. However, if you change the viewport to be say 25% bottom and 75% top, then it won't start moving until you're 25%, that element is 25% up the page, and then it will move until 75% and it will stop. You're literally setting the thresholds for when actions occur. But this does go a step further when you have things like fade in and fade out. Let me explain, right? So we down here have uh, four elements, okay? And I'm going to show you what happens with the vertical scroll up. All of these are vertical scroll up. However, this one here is set to be zero bottom and 100% top. This is zero bottom, 60% top. 40 bottom, 60 top, 40% bottom, and 100 top. So now watch what happens here. The one over here on the far left, right, can you see it's moving up? And it's always, it's always got that movement upwards from the bottom of the screen to the top of the page. The second one, 0 to 60, look at it. It's moving from the bottom as well. But when you get to the 60% mark, look, it stops moving. Can you see that? It has stopped moving. The only reason it's moving is because I'm still scrolling down, but the scrolling effect has stopped. What about the 40 to 60? Look at that. It's not moving until you get to 40% and then it stops at 60. You're controlling at what point is it activated. And the 40% bottom to the 100 top, look, it starts to move now and it keeps moving because we've gone to 100% top. Is that sinking in a little bit? So the 40 to 60 is the most telling one, I think, where it moves and then it stops moving. Let's go to the rotate. We have the same thing again. We're moving to the left, all right? Zero bottom, 100 top. Well, you can see the numbers there. Look at the one on the far left. It's continuously rotating all the way. Okay, oops, my mouse has moved. All the way, right? It continuously rotates. The one to the right of it stops rotating at 60% top. The one that is 40, 60 doesn't move until 40, 60. See, it moves a little bit and then it stops. And the 40 to 100 doesn't move until now and it keeps moving until you get to the top. But here's the really interesting one. When you have a scroll effect like transparency with fade in out or fade out in, whatever you do, what you're actually informing it is to do two things. You want it to fade in and also fade out. But the settings you pick can totally affect what it does. Watch this. Transparency, fading out, zero bottom, 100 top, right? Look at it. Let me do that again slowly. Look, it's not fading in and out. Can you see it? It's not fading in and out. It is stuck. It's almost static. Why? Because you've activated the fade in from the bottom, 0%. It's already faded in. And you've said, fade in from 100% top. It's not going to fade in and out. It will just fade in and stay faded in. So you might apply it, have zero and 100 and go, it's not fading out. What's wrong here? It's because you've set the threshold to just be fade in. But look at transparency fading out zero to 60 to the right of it. It's already faded in because you've faded it in zero. But it, watch what happens when we get to 60 top. It starts to fade out. Can you see that it is starting to fade out now because we've said 
you're, you're all in at 100 and don't start to fade out until 60. Look at this one here, 40 to 60, right? It's faded out. It fades in properly at 40. It stays solid. And at 60, it starts to fade out. Can you see that? By having 40 to 60, we're now making it come in and then go out. And with the 40 to 100, it comes in and then it stays solid because the threshold is set at 100 to the top. I hope this goes to help to explain a little bit how the viewport works. It takes a little bit of playing, but remember, when you set anything to be zero, it kicks off from the bottom of the screen. And if you set the top to be 100, it continues doing what it's meant to do until you get to the top. But if you shrink it down, so you add like, you know, 20% bottom and 80% top or 70% top, whatever, you're setting almost like the point it kicks in and it kicks out. And if you have a fade in out or a fade out in, that's the points it goes in and out or out and in. I hope that makes sense, everyone, because um, I know a lot of people struggle with that a little bit. Elemental scrolling effects viewport. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.